What is up everybody, Tech Check here with a what to expect video on the newly confirmed OnePlus 2. So one thing to clear up before we start the video, most of the OnePlus 2 information are rumors and could not appear on the final product. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So there was loads of hype by OnePlus fans about a meeting hosted on the 1st of June. So yesterday the OnePlus 2 unfortunately was not released and the CEO of OnePlus gave a bit more details on the upcoming OnePlus 2. So design wise there is pretty much the same design circulating so what we see here is that the bezels have been made very thin along with the top and the chin of this phone. In my opinion maybe a bit too thin. Judging by the design of the OnePlus 1, OnePlus don't see to be the type of phone manufacturer that take many risks with design. Therefore I'm thinking that it is probably unlikely to be that thin, however OnePlus could have been bolder and braver this time, realizing how popular their first iteration was. We haven't really received lots of rumors about the back of the device and what kind of material it is going to be made out of. My guess is probably not metal and something that can have a removable back. Plastic for example. On the front we have the screen and what to expect of the screen. So the most convincing screen size is 5.5 inches and I wouldn't be surprised if the new OnePlus 2 is that big. On the resolution side of things, it's not that clear. Some people are guessing 1920 by 1080, which was the resolution of the OnePlus One. However, with all the phones that have come out this year, there definitely seems to be a trend leaning towards the Quad HD side of things. I wouldn't really be surprised if it was a Quad HD display because the new OnePlus Two could cost $100 more than the previous edition coming in at a price tag of around $400. So previously the OnePlus One was 8.9 millimeters thick. I'm really hoping that OnePlus will be able to reduce that figure to give a more sleek phone, unlike what LG have achieved on their new G4. So on the specification side of things, pretty much all of the rumors I've looked at are saying that the OnePlus Two will be rocking a Qualcomm Snapdragon 810, which is the newest chip. So the OnePlus One came with three gigabytes of RAM, However, a lot of rumors are saying that OnePlus will accompany the Snapdragon 810 with 4 gigs of RAM. I'm really hoping that OnePlus will release a phone with 32 gigabytes of memory and 64 gigabytes, just missing out the 16 gigabytes. Battery wise, there have been rumors that OnePlus will increase the battery to a 3300 milliamp hour battery, which should ultimately increase the already good battery life of the upcoming OnePlus 2. The only hardware part of this upcoming phone that we have not got a lot of rumors about are the two cameras. The only rumor that I've been able to find is that the back facing camera should have a 16 megapixel sensor and the front should be 5 megapixels. Apart from that we haven't got much if the new OnePlus 2 will be able to shoot in 4K. However it is pretty likely if they put in a Quad HD display that the phone will be able to shoot in 4K. The final most interesting rumor is of something called the OnePlus Lite. So there's this rumor going around about the OnePlus Lite. Essentially what it is, it's an improved version of the OnePlus One, however not quite matching the specs of the OnePlus Two. In my opinion, that is very unlikely to happen because OnePlus are just focusing on releasing a somewhat cheap flagship with great specs. So overall, if most of the specs listed in this video appear in the OnePlus Two phone, then we are in for a very good phone hitting the market during the third quarter of this year. On the software side of things, OnePlus have developed and released their own OS called Oxygen OS. As we speak right now, people are using Oxygen OS because it was released this April for all OnePlus One users. Oxygen OS will most likely come stock with the new OnePlus Two. OnePlus is also developing Hydrogen OS, which is to be used as their OS in Asia. The final thing is, yesterday OnePlus announced how to correctly write their new phone's name. So instead of two made up of alphabetical letters, the two will be written as a numerical two. If you made it this far, really appreciate it. Make sure you like this video and subscribe. Also make sure you follow me on Twitter at TechCheck27 and Instagram. As always, I'll see you guys in the next one.